I woke up this morning and no joke, I feel like my whole body has been hit by a truck. If anyone trains a really hard like Jiu Jitsu or MMA session, you'll know exactly how I feel when your whole body's just been slammed by people all evening that the next day you just feel like your body is broken. Here is a little bit of a body check-in. I am down about six kilograms now, which is good. Starting to see my abs come through a little bit. But anyone that has been following me for a while or knows me knows that I have dealt with a lot of thyroid issues in the last two years. So a couple of years ago, within four months, I gained 20 kilograms of body fat because my thyroid stopped working. And over the last few years, I've tried everything and I'm finally on a thing that is working well for my thyroid. So I'm down six kilos or a six kilos in the last uh, few months but actually i'm down about 10 kilograms of the original like body fat that i gained and i've got about 10 kilograms to go but right now i cannot imagine being 10 kilos smaller because that feels tiny but i will admit that i am at a point where i actually don't mind my body too much i've got my curves back and it's a little bit more comfortable to train with as you know when you're quite heavy it is hard to train because everything does like feel heavier and slower whereas this body weight is actually easy to move around with in training and my gear is dry and ready for a session today i went to a late night session last night of gear usually i train mainly no, no gear but because you get graded in your gear i kind of need to get decent at it and i bet i suck at it but right now i literally just have one gear that fits i have a few tops but i have one pair of pants that I kind of stole slash borrowed from my coach who he will get them back eventually. But they do mismatch which I think is slightly frowned upon in Jiu Jitsu, it's supposed to be one colour. But I wear mismatch gear and it works and it's comfy and the pants aren't too tight that they're going to rip and I'm going to hulk out of them and have a very embarrassing moment. This is what I wear underneath my gear. I wear a singlet top or a rash guard. I prefer a singlet top because you overheat in your gi, especially when you're in Australia. And then I wear leggings. Usually they're ones that I've had for a while, a little bit older. I make sure they are high topped because the last thing you want is if your gi pants get pulled down, your pants get pulled down as well. So you do not want that accident happening when you're surrounded by men. But usually keeping everything as skin tight as physically possible underneath the gi so things don't move around people don't get caught in the material i hate when i have t-shirts getting caught in the gi and then the t-shirt so you can keep everything tight the better and when it's underneath your gi it doesn't have to be fancy you can wear your oldest clothes in your closet because no one will see them Jiu-Jitsu finished and I am wrecked and starving. Now today's session was pretty good, although I feel like I literally spent a whole hour getting beaten up. But those things happen and that's what some of those days are really like. How to tell when someone changed Jiu-Jitsu? You will know. So the thing I want to talk to you guys about today is training when you feel like crap and training wrestling, martial arts in particular when you need to feel physically ready and mentally ready. Now, if you guys are fans of the Joe Rogan experience, there's one thing that he said on there that really resonated with me and a lot of people and he said that if he only ever trained when he felt good, he would never train at all or extremely rarely. So there's a limit between training when you feel really bad and knowing when you need to rest. I have a few simple rules with my with my training to know when I need to rest and when, when I need to train. The first rule I have is that I set myself a minimum goal of training for a week. Now every week I must do at least three Jiu Jitsu and three weight training sessions. Now if I the only times I want to them is if I'm sick and I don't want to make other people um, sick or if I'm actually physically injured or if I really have to work and I can't make it but I will do my best to get into those three sessions but if I do miss, miss say a G2 session I'll make it up with a cardio session or a hard 
um, training session. So unless I am pretty much dying, I will make sure I make a minimum of three jujitsu and three weights. And setting yourself a minimum goal throughout the week is a really good way of staying consistent and motivated even if you don't feel like training or if you feel like crap. Tip number two is those rare moments when you do feel awesome and I'm actually getting one of them this week. I had two weeks of feeling like rubbish. My thyroid was, was spiking. I had chronic fatigue. I was moody, which you don't want to see me when I'm moody. I was wrecked and I did not feel like training, although I did do my training sessions. But this week, for some reason, starting Monday, I've had a burst of energy and all I've wanted to do was train and get on the mats. So it is Wednesday today and I've already done three sessions and I'm probably going to train tomorrow and Friday as well which I'll get five sessions and I've not had a five session week in forever and I've already done two weight sessions and I'm about to run off to do another weight session today and it's a Wednesday. So when you feel awesome take advantage of those moments and kind of over train in a way don't like don't overtrain to a point where you kill yourself but I mean train as hard as you can because those moments are kind of rare and when you do have them really take advantage of them and my tip number three is when you need to rest it is a okay to rest but tell yourself that this is a rest and this is not quitting if I feel like absolute rubbish I'm gonna say it is Friday I'm gonna take Saturday and Sunday off literally to do nothing even though I feel like going to the gym even though I kind of want to do something but because I felt like crap the other day I'm going to take two three four days rest and I'm going to refresh might even do some yoga some stretching go for a walk do something else fitnessy and then come back to it but it doesn't mean I fully quit but tell yourself this is only for a couple days you are allowed a few days to feel like crap but once those days are over you're straight back on the mats or you're straight back in the gym and you're straight back to training